That's Vito weird. getting exposed this week. All this exposure has been uh, really, really... Accidentally sharing my screen. That's my problem. Oh, are we doing that right away? Is that what's happening? We're on. Yeah, we are on. We're on TV. Accidentally sharing your screen Accidentally is sharing a my really screen. big problem, and a lot of people are getting a hit with it. <laughs> I, have, I everyone's you, getting hit with You have Me, so many Vosh, things in common. You too. Common. But Vosh shared his screen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I did not share my screen. Oh, this was. How did that get out then? I sent the uh, Google. What do you call it? I sent the link to whoever was. There's a stream of guys, and they do a little thing where it's like we read everybody's script and discuss it, and it's not like a big stream. It's like you know. <sighs> Four Should guys. You guys talking about uh, comic books? Yeah, you read That's a little portion of your comic uh, book. What's it called? Fresh and new idea. <laughs> Dot stream. I don't remember what it's, it's called. called. We're right on the. <laughs> we're right on the bleeding edge. There's a guy Preston Poulter. It's very complicated, and he, he, he's the, he's the one who uh, Ethan and him have a lawsuit over who owns the word Comics Gate. Ethan owns it. Obvious. I don't know. But I went on his stream, and we uh, we went through the first like ten pages of the script, and we talked about it. I'm like, this is uh -huh. fun. But then somebody, because he had brought up the script to look at it, and he was sharing his screen. Uh huh. Uh -huh so they were uh -huh. able to take the Stream. Google document uh, link. They were, you know, they. Who, who's it out. they? Who is well, they? I'm being accused of leaking it myself. Oh yeah, Null said you leaked yeah, it. Yeah, Null says I leaked it to own Why would Eric you leak July. It? <laughs> I leaked a two-year-old no, draft of my comic book script. I have never seen someone uh, own goal. Dude, like I have, Null has you were. I saw this happen. Yeah, I saw your super killer script get leaked, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh man, I'm gonna fucking nail Vito tonight. He's gonna. This is a big fuck up, right? Yeah. He's gonna be devastated. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, you woke up and didn't care, and then I saw Null's big review of it. I was like, this is. <laughs> you can make fun, like you can make fun of every bad part of this script. You can rake Vito over the coals for this. This yeah. is horrible uh, from an opsec perspective for everything. Like right. it's just devastating. And then Null's first criticism was that you used in your script for your comic book, you used in the description of the scene where yeah. you describe the scene so the illustrator can draw it. Right. You included pictures right. of things that it was supposed to look like, <laughs> and Null said. Well, this is, if Vito has a problem with ISOM's 3D assets, here he is using pictures to explain to an illustrator how, and I said, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Vito's going to get away with this? <laughs> no, you, that's what you win with? Are you fucking, and then the next, because next comment was, there's a woman in this getting grabbed. Uh, she might be, so is that pedophilic? It's like, you saw a woman with tits and assumed that it was a child? And it's you went you went straight to pedophiles <laughs> and like you used images for the illustrator. Are you fucking serious? You totally blew it. You totally you could have had Vito dead to rights on a leaked comic book is, script, you and you fucking blew it. Yeah. So like, for those who haven't picked this up, my comic book yes, an old version of my comic book script got leaked. And I was like, well, I don't know. I, I was like thinking about it. I'm like, well, what are they going to say? I mean, yeah, there's like some jokes in there that kind of suck, but I've gotten rid of those from that. Like it was an early, early draft. Uh, so most of what they read or a lot of it is It's changed. basically ISOM because it's the first draft. Right. ISOM it's, was a first draft. It's this why was the draft ISOM I sucks. Cause typed you, out very quickly and then you gradually build upon it. And I was like, well, there's probably some shit in there that like sucks because it's the first draft. Which and, is if you hate you, yeah. like Null, you, you make Null so angry that he just fucks up nonstop whenever right. like he tries to con he tried to convince Mr. Medicare that you're a legit pedophile mm. instead of just convincing him that you're like fat and make jokes you shouldn't be making. Right. Like that's or defensible. I hang out with your, I don't know, weirdos and Yeah, so I was like I was expecting that everybody would be like, "Oh, this joke isn't funny," which would right. hurt which would me hurt. a lot. Me too. Yeah, I would be like, "That's oh, what shit. I was going to do." It's supposed to be a funny comic book and they're making fun of the jokes and it doesn't matter if they change them now that people are going to think it's not funny. Right. It said Null goes Vito's such a bad writer that he included reference images for his artist for because, the illustrator because to he draw. couldn't describe them well enough. He had to rely on pictures, and I'm like, <laughs> hold on. And, and he said, and that's after he gave Eric shit for publishing 3D renders, and I'm like, ah, uh, you know, how what? did you fuck this up? You hate Vito. How no? How did you fuck this up?
you know that meme with like the numbers floating around in front of me? I'm like trying. I'm like <laughs> he got away with it. I'm like hold on, hold on, hold on. So because oh. Eric used 3D renders and was criticized for it, me going to my artist and going, hey, see, here's some ideas of like what this might look. It's like. totally no. Every single creative like company uses mood boards to like establish yeah. <laughs> what the scenes should look like because a picture is worth a thousand words. I don't. I don't think Noel knows, like, now when you pitch a movie, you go in and you actually make a fake, I forget what they called them, like, but you make a fake trailer using scenes from existing movies. Like, I watched a pitch for a- It was just so out of left field, like, what are you taught the 3D asset thing, you guys are like, you guys are permanently stumped on that. Yeah, they it's really funny because can't I, Even Medicare said, I don't understand why the 3D asset's funny, uh, video games do it. Like, yeah. well, um- in video games, if a video game sold, if an indie video game sold for like seven million dollars, and then everyone found out that the assets in the game were all freely downloaded from like 3dwarehouse.com, right? Everyone would have a big, everyone would make fun of that. Well, yeah, they it's so lazy and uninspired <laughs> and yeah, lifeless. There's right? asset flip games, and like, yes, you can buy and reuse assets, but if you make a bunch of money and like you're supposedly making a really you got a guy product. floating on a fucking couch. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> eyes are open because they're all downloaded and cut and paste into the so their eyes are fucking shut while they're while he's talking to his niece or whatever. I can't. Do you want to bring up his tweets because they're like fascinating? Is hey, that a, uh, null? Nulls? I don't know if I have them. Uh, Maybe. Are you are you blocked? He said you spent. He said you. Yeah, I am. He did yeah. block me. He said you spent years finding all the assets in. In ISOM. Which I didn't find any of the assets in ISOM because other people did. I just kind of watched it. And I went, well, that's kind of funny that they found the truck. Uh, it didn't definitely didn't take years. It took about, uh, yeah, here we go. Here okay, we go. so like. <laughs> this I, is insane, I can't, man. I, like, I don't even know what to say because I'm just like, you know when people just hate you so much that they start saying insane things? It's yeah. like, how dare he drink Kool-Aid on a Wednesday? And you're like, I don't know how to respond to that yeah, in any way. I guess I did. Vito, so, here it is. Vito spent years painstakingly going over every page of Ripaverse comics to try and find any art which may be a third-party asset. Right. And I Vito didn't did not spend, no one spent years, Null. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the Rosetta it, Stone. Yeah. <laughs> Two guys. Every day I took my copy of Isom and I went, uh, uh, how am I going to figure out where this, it <laughs> must have come from somewhere. It can't just manifest. It must have come from somewhere. <laughs> No, I, I, that didn't really happen. In fact, I didn't. It was a, it's a joke <laughs> yeah. that the 3D assets are in there. Some no people one, on Twitter went, look, it's all 3D assets. And I went, oh, that's kind of fun. No one painstakingly <laughs> did it either. They just searched for Ford 350. Yeah, Ford, Ford truck. Ford truck. <laughs> on a 3D website uh, and, and found then, it instantly. Uh, table. Copy yeah. room table. Warehouse. Weird castle. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I painstakingly but poured over. But as a script over, writer. I've read it twice. I did not painstakingly pour over every page. I went. For years. This sucks, and then let me check for if it still sucks. a comic that was out last year. Yeah, you for years, years I've been going through the assets. Uh, but as a script writer, he doesn't have enough confidence in his own writing to describe scenes or people himself using references without license. So I don't have a license, license to provide my artist with reference material. You know what does he think a script is? I don't know. And here's what's funny is <laughs> I posted this and I was like, I was like, wait, is it really actually weird? Like, I know in like Hollywood, you don't put images in the in the script because like the director's going to have You do it, when you're shooting. No, you do. You yeah, do a shooting a, script. Uh, well, will if you yeah. were shooting off of this and you were location scouting, yes, yeah. you would. Okay. But I was like, well, this this feels like it's normal to me. And then uh, Mark Brooks, who is a, a professional comic artist who's worked for Marvel in D.C., he said, literally every seasoned <laughs> comic writer I work with will include reference images in their script. He didn't say some. He All said every single one will be like, yeah, it's like a cool bar with like some stuff on the walls. Kind of like this. Like this kind of mood is what I want to match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like for efficiency. You don't just sit there and you go, "Oh God, I, I can't possibly I describe it." Because if I, I show him, to, if I show him an example, <laughs> and I don't have the license to show an example, <laughs> I, I'm totally screwed. I can't possibly. No, you just. What show, is he talking about? The license? The, yeah, you just show an artist an image. It's so weird. <laughs> also, let's be real. My my artist is a. Uh, in uh, Mexico. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I want to put, like, you know, in the background, like a little reference to The Simpsons, like a little three-headed, uh, three-eyed fish yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 
And I was like, I don't know if he knows what that looks like, so I'll just include a picture of it, you know? It's unlicensed. Did you get Matt Groening's, uh, right. Groening's permission to put the three-eyed fish in there? <laughs> no. Ex- well, that uh, maybe that's what he's mad about. This is the but- worst. This is the most, like... The most archetypal of I hate someone, so I hate everything that he does. Yeah. That I think I've ever seen. The idea that he's like, he can't write descriptions and he had to use pictures. And I'm like, but there is a description with the picture. Have you never had someone illustrate something? There's before? a very like, Here, this, detailed this, this, description this. along with it. And then I said, you know, you just to make of sure. Anything. Any of you could have picked any <laughs> joke and made fun of it. Just one joke. Here, look at how bad this joke is. Yeah. Because every joke is bad out of context. There's- All you had to do was pick a joke, but you went with. He's using unlicensed memes? <laughs> I just like, and the fact that people are like retweeting us and they're going, well, Vito's completely owned. This comic is dead in the water. Even Eric July and Yellow Flash Eric like, July that's rough. Like, Ooh, he'll ooh, never recover He'll never from live this. that one down. Ooh. And I'm like, what? Okay. Oh. Sure. I, and this was all before you woke up. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I was. Everybody, I felt sick with worry for you. I'm like, with oh, worry, that's rough for him. <laughs> and then I saw this, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's gonna walk from this? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, look. I'll say this: the, that first draft or that early draft of the script. Uh, yeah, there's like some jokes that sucked, but I've replaced most of them. Some of them I still think are good. Doesn't even matter, Vito. This is what you're. Yeah, up I know. Against. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> I mean, I can't go too deep into it, but then Noel started asking questions where I'm like, yeah, but that's the theme of the... You're, like, actually just repeating the theme. He's like, Vito doesn't even know what the theme is. I'm like, no, you're stating that, that you might, so I, I might... We might agree with him on that. that. I yeah. thought about Mr. Girl's criticism that she should have cancer. Yeah. And I agree with him. Not, I see what he's saying, and you he's say, right. I know, what, I know what... I know what he means, and he's right. It's, I, it's a different book if she has cancer. Right, a good one. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. See, Dick has actual criticisms of the script. Oh, well now Now they're all Now bullshit. I get to wait when your when your book yeah. comes out in like twenty twenty eight or right, whenever it is. Right. Um <clears throat> now I'm just gonna wait for everyone to punch themselves out. Reviewing it. Like, now it, now reviewing it, now it, now it like, just has to be like this is. it could be a six out of ten now, <laughs> and it would still be like shut all these guys up because they're like they said it was gonna be the worst fucking thing ever. <laughs> Now it like just kind of be kind of good. Stick to making fun of like lol cows, like people who are not aware of why they're funny. Not, not, not this. No, I this promise is... I will stop using unlicensed reference material. You're right. I should not have posted a, a screenshot to help my artist envision what I'm seeing. You got the three eyed. You got a messy horrible. apartment there. Yeah. You got a three eyed fish. Oh my god, I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> okay, I'm completely blown out. I've been destroyed this whole week. I've I been thought you were going to be miserable when you came in because no, of this. this is gleeful. This is fucking hilarious. Yeah. And the same guy, you remember that? You, you, you were on Ethan Van Skyver's show, and they were reading that guy's review of Isom where he can't spell or anything. And oh, he's just like, God. I really liked the character, and Yaira was really he's great. He's using the wrong punctuations yeah. or the wrong uh, plurals and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, man, you're retarded. And then bro. that guy went, oh, man, Vito's comic sucks. And I like, read a lot of script, that's and an this in- one is... <laughs> I'm like that's basically an endorsement. The mentally handicapped guy who uh oh, doesn't God. Have, this is great. This is hilarious. Okay, you ready to do this? This has show? worked out so well. <laughs> Unlicensed reference material. <laughs> Biggest problem <laughs> in the universe. Hey, welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from pain in your back to your chip getting cracked in the dip. Uh, that was from Smelly Unfortunate. I'm uh, my, uh, your host, Dick Masterson. Joining me as always is Vito Gisvaldi. Hi, Dick. What's up, buddy? How, How you doing? Fun. What a Smelly fun. Unfortunate. Uh, this week could have been terrible. Wow, everyone have... really took their turns uh, yeah, every... stump getting stumped by you, <laughs> stumping themselves on you. It's so weird. I was like, oh, wow, this week's going to like be like... It's been a nonstop dog pile. You've been getting dog piled as well. And somehow at the end of the day, I feel like our stock is just rising exponentially. Because everybody goes, we're going to nail these guys to the wall. And then they do a show in it or whatever. Or they complain on Twitter. And everyone goes, what are you guys, fucking retarded? They are great. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. It's like moronic. 
Did you see? Okay, so Andy Worski in PPP. Oh yeah, I, I was on uh, Ethan Van Skyver. You were on Ethan Van Skyver's show. We watched that where PPP's got this. He's he's in this robe. Yeah. This Santa Claus robe. For no re for no reason, seemingly well, no the reason, reason is that he is like actually fatter than me, and the he's, only thing he can wear is like a fucking moo moo at this point. Dude, he looks like a beanbag, or or he looks like a love sack. Actually, not even a beanbag. He's so big, and the whole video, he's tearing, he's tugging at this robe to, to keep it to closed. Keep it closed. Um, and it occurred to me, yeah, because I thought, bro, you got to tie the belt. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, Call, why constantly are you constantly pulling, adjusting your robe? Uh, it's because the the robe, the belt that it came with doesn't fit anymore. Right. And I thought, oh no. You know you what? Have I to get a, you have to get some ratchet straps, dude. You know what I said? The happiest day for a fat man is when he sees another fat man. Yeah. Every time I see PPP, I'm like, things are things are not nearly as bad as they could be. They're talking, <laughs> they're talking about how Eric July is not funny, while PPP, who is um, f fatter than God, right. is also saying that Nick Ricada drinks too much while he's while his clothing no longer fits him because he's so addicted to food. <laughs> like, what yeah. are you talking yeah, about? PPP knows a lot about addiction. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps drinking. Nick Dickinson is out of control. Give me that. Are you going to eat that, Andy? He needs to learn some self-control. Imagine. Now. Hold imagine. on. These beans are not going to eat themselves. That's our thing. Oh, sorry. My robe came undone. How is anyone listening to a lecture on self-control from uh, Andy Kokeski and, and the P fattest P man in the world? Please feed me another fucking cheeseburger. Like, you actually seem skinnier after, me, after I, seeing that. Dude. Did you see, uh, okay. <laughs> it's retard week. There's too much. Like, we can't it's do like shark week, I don't know but how retard. we're going to do this show. There's too much. Good luck. <laughs> Why is everyone always mad at us? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't, they're picking on us. They are picking they're on They're picking us. on us who are just trying to make some jokes and laughs. I have one other thing I want to bring up about last week. Okay. Okay, so Andy Warski and PPP did a stream. Do you remember on, I think- They couldn't even get PPP on the whole camera. No, he doesn't fit. <laughs> Do you remember on our last episode, you brought up uh, that AI girl with the, like, skull or whatever? The, peta the lo lolly stuff. Sure. The yeah, pedophile that stuff. you call yeah. lolly stuff, right? <laughs> and uh, Andy Warski, uh, for some reason, I forget, it was somehow somebody left a super chat and we ended up, I think we were talking about Vosh or something, and that topic came up yeah. again. And yeah. as a joke, as a callback to earlier in the episode, I said, well, if that's really what you want, don't forget you can go to Bing and generate all the lol you want. Right, right. right. So Andy Worski and PPP play that on their show, and they bleep Bing.com. <laughs> And they go, Vito just That's told funny. his audience about a secret website where you can <laughs> generate <one> child <laughs> pornography. <laughs> what is this sicko doing? Why does he even know? That's funny. That, that's, that is funny. That's funny, but then here's the thing with those guys. Yeah. They do, they do funny stuff, that and they are funny. funny, like the boxing thing that was funny. But then they run out of content, and they start doing like... Well, Ralph's not a good dad, and it's really important to be good dad. And uh, Nick has an addiction problem. It's like, oh, go fucking knock off this fake moral horse shit. Yeah. Just be funny all the time. Be funny all the time. 100% comedy. <laughs> I don't care how much pedophiles is in it. 100% comedy 100% of the I time. Do have to That's say it. Them bleeping bang. Dot it's com. funny, right? If their audience heard, go to bing.com, everyone would know. Oh, he's joking. He's joking, yeah. It's that it's Vito knows of a secret. <laughs> hey, I, I see the comedy in that. And get back on the I'll drugs, tip, man. Tip my hat to it that. Worski's not, Worski's off drugs. He's, he's quote unquote sober. PPP's uh, fucking drinking. Well, he's on the most drinking gravy. Obvious drug of all. Yeah. yeah. Come gravy on. It's either, and... either you're both sober or you're both getting wasted. You got one, you got fat ass getting wasted constantly. And he obviously. had his whole training uh, arc and uh, PPP that was there to watch him like working out money. and He's collecting yeah. a check for no reason i, I mean, would never <laughs> cut you in on a boxing check if i had a box well uh if the yellow flash boxing match ever happens which it won't because he's a pussy because he's a pussy he's still talking shit behind that block he goes ah, here's the thing about Vito, and i go here's the thing about you you won't fight me in the ring and you you and that's all that to. matters you threaten to fight Vito. If you're ever on a stream with Yellow Flash, go, hey, what happened to that boxing match? Yeah. Because uh, you said you wanted to fight Vito. What happened to that? And you think he's a pedophile, so I'm you're getting, just letting I'm a pedophile walk free. Shape, baby. I feel good. I feel strong. Oh, man. I think I'll last more than five seconds, unlike Andy Worski. I have to tell you, I'm very impressed at the way you took the script leaking. 
And I really believe it worked out, but it's so great. It's totally normal. <laughs> you like acted like a totally normal person. I was bracing for you to be texting me going like, whatever. "Can you not mention this?" And you're like, "Yeah, it's awesome." I'm like, oh, this is fascinating. Well, the uh, only thing that I, you know, I mean, look, uh, I tell people if you don't want spoilers, don't read it. The actual comic's gonna be way better. Part of the problem, part of the thing about a script is like you don't get to see like the characters' faces and how the joke works. Yeah, you know, nothing. Like, nothing that I read better. about it happened in the draft I read. If so I took a Peanuts totally comic different. and I just had Charlie Brown go, Charlie Brown misses the football and launches into the air, you'd go, "Well, that's not that funny." And yeah. you see it, and you're like, "Oh, I get it now." Is that what's in Super Killer? Yeah, there's a lot of football Peanuts. kicking. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There is actually there is actually going to be a Peanuts reference in the book. Well, good job, guys. Better luck taking down. I mean, I hate Vito I'm just as so much as all of you. I'm so easy to take down. I How guess. did you fuck this? Everyone <laughs> fucked it up this week. <laughs> it's not that fuck hard. It all up. Just post the weed tweet Go a couple more times. Crying to Medicare to see if he'll do yeah. it for you because you guys fucked up. Just keep- I know that's what all of it's about. Oh, hey, Medicare. Uh, uh, what if Vito's a pedophile? So can you go make fun of him? Because I'm gonna fuck it up. Because I already fucked it up a bunch of times. I had Mr. Girl on my my stream this week, and nobody even you talked about it that. because, like, it, it's like the low easiest low hanging fruit. We talked about lolly. We talked about Vosh's lolly folder for two hours. I make it so easy for you people. And you go, I can't believe you included reference material in your script. At this point, I hope that you are actually a pedophile <laughs> and that you're just getting away with it. At this point, if it came, if, if the, you yeah. know, you were DMing with Jared from Subway and the FBI rolled up to your house, I'd go, it's good for him, son of a bitch. <laughs> He fucking, he really got he everybody. He made it work for, for a long time. Got away with it for a long fucking time. Really God damn work. it. You should do it as a bit. I have thought about it. All That'd right. Be pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, who won. Throwing your back out, obviously. Wow, really? Won. Yeah. Fuck. Chips breaking in the dip. Oh, you got swept. Wow. The eye of Angelus. Oh my God. Then prison abuse because you named it all clever. Yeah. Don't don't ever. Uh, somebody told me that that someone else made a clever reference like that. Don't do clever. Maybe that was uh, what I was drawing on. Kid prisons. Kid oh yeah, uh, assisted suicide haters. Assisted at the very bottom. suicide haters. In the negative, so people like yeah. assisted suicide. Haters. I had a big strike, a uh, big streak going for a while. I'm willing to back, you know, come back. I was the MVP All Star going into retirement. Maybe I'll come back, throw some hoops with the kids. Ah, oh, you quit for like gambling addiction. Mm, yeah. I got great problems this week. We're gonna have a great show. Here's Null. Uh, here comes the ball, and then <laughs> the end of the World Series, and then whoop, right through his legs. Out it is the first a Buckner baseline. situation. That is a Buckner if I ever saw one. Oh, and then Worski, I saw Andy Worski said he uncovered you that you did something very duplicitous mm. and sinister. Yeah. That uh, you changed your name right. because you you tried to kill a police officer in your car, and you, right. you very cleverly and very <laughs> surreptitiously <laughs> and evilly right. changed your name from Christopher Vito Giswaldi to Vito Giswaldi. <laughs> so as to trick in America. <laughs> <laughs> and, I don't know how you did and, that. Dick, <laughs> the best part of my plan was that I preempted that crime 20 years in advance. And I and I've made content under the Vito Giswaldi name for twenty years. Twenty years, <laughs> really? Uh, really had a uh, crack yeah. shooter on and Andy, and by that I mean a cocaine shooter. I've been going by my middle name forever. Uh, for those of you, for that's a revelation. No sober man would ever think that story yeah. up. I got bad news. There's too many for Christophers you. in the world, so you know. I'll go. But I'm going to change my name to. Oh, people are going to hate me if they find out I tried to kill that cop. I'm going to go by Vito. Giswaldi. Vito's my grandfather's name. I told this, uh, what do you call oh, it? We found his grave. Has anybody gone and taken, somebody and sent me, you him? know what? If you want to go to my grandpa's grave, go nuts. I really don't care. Uh, pee on it if you want. Fuck it. Who uh, the fuck would care? No. Yeah. What, what, what does it matter? Um, Originally, my dad wanted to name me Vito after my grandfather, but my mom was like, that's too fucking weird. No one, no one wants a kid named Vito. Yeah. So they made it my middle name. I spent all this time in school, and there was like 10 Chris's. You know, it's like Chris yeah, G, yeah, yeah. Chris H, whatever. I'm like, this yeah. fucking sucks. I don't want to be one of the eight Chris's. So I just started going by my middle name, which was the original intention. So I think it, I think it works. <laughs> clever. Criminal Very mastermind. Clever. Very, yeah. <laughs> it was definitely because I tried to kill cl- cops and it's kill like a women. face-off routine. You're like, I'm going to go in for this procedure yeah. of going by my middle name. The... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's Val. Honestly, I've thought about just the stuff that Worski and PPP thought was like a huge own. 
at one point he's like, did you know that he used to review lolly sex games? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I saw that. So it's, <laughs> it's a chick it's with a huge tits. Yeah, it's a chick with huge tits, and it's a space shooting game rated T space for teen. Ship. Yeah. It's rated T huge for teen. Tits. Giant huge fucking tits. T- it's a giant titted <laughs> anime lady spaceship. And they're going, yeah, that's one of those that's one of those lolly porn games. You guys are pretending that chicks with huge tits are children. You're the fucking pedophile. I I almost made that my problem. People pretending that any anime porn (laughs) is. Look at that. Look at those double G cups. Giant tits on that woman. She must be eight years old. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with your 50-year-old wife? Tell me that you're 12. It's so it's crazy, dude. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.